Hello, everyone. How are you tonight? Sir, it's raining here. Is it? Are... Oh, my God. Well, here it's, it's starting now. It's starting to rain. Yes. Let's hope that we don't have any problem because of the rain tonight with the connection. Okay, let's see. Hello, Alejandra, we missed you. Good How evening, are you teacher. tonight? <laughs> I'm fine, and you? Were you sick? Are you sick? Estuvo enferma? Oh, sí, teacher, yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But now, are, are, do you feel better? ¿Se siente mejor? Eh, más o menos, ya ahí voy. Okay, then, okay. ¿Ha visto los videos? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah, because the topics are uh, new, are completely new, and they are out of any context. Okay, so it's important for you to watch the videos. Es muy importante ver los videos para poder ir al día, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Perfecto, Alejandra. Me alegra mucho verla de regreso. Thanks, Me alegra teacher. mucho. Hello, Daniel Enrique. How are you yeah. doing? Uh, fine. Fine? Is it raining? Yes. Is it mm, raining there? Sí, sí. Yes, yes, it's raining. Yes. Okay. Hello. I think you can hear me better now. Si me oyen mejor ahora? Yes, you should. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. You're tired. Mm. It's because of the rain. <laughs> That's because of the rain. You're <laughs> sleepy. Are you tired? Yes. Okay. Was your day busy? Estuvo ocupado el día de hoy? Mucho trabajo, muchas tareas. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy that you are here now. And we have to take the attendance. It's 8.01 right now. So I would like to take the attendance. But podríamos comenzar, ¿verdad? Con, con el contenido. Y cuando ya se agreguen un poquito, les vamos a dar la gracia de unos... Cinco minutitos a, a los demás, ¿verdad? Pero eh, vamos a comenzar entonces con el contenido de ahora. Let me share the screen with you. Um, ¿Ya no hay más? No, hay que hacer eso que te dije, que estar por ciento es. Ok, there you are. <laughs> ok, good. Now, let's see. Let me go to the... And the objective for today. Okay, now let me subprime this. Okay, here we are. I'm going to share the screen with you because I want you to see the objective for the class, today's class. Okay, let me do it with a part of the screen because if I do it in a general thing and a basic thing, it's going to be unfocused. Okay, now here we are focusing it. There we are. Okay, people, tonight we are going to, um, I think we know how to use the simple present, but there are some things that we are going to add tonight. Okay, and let me show you. The topic for tonight is the simple present. The simple present. 
and the agenda. First activity will be a feedback speaking exercise. Then we're going to talk and I'm going to um, notice or check your previous knowledge about the simple present. Then we are going to practice a dialogue that we have in our manuals. And finally, we are going to do a written exercise. Mm, in the breakout rooms, oh, um, or maybe we are going to do it together. But the main thing for this class is speaking, okay? Is speaking. So I need you to give your opinions and ideas when I ask questions, okay? And let's start with that. Let's start with that. I'm going to start with this first question. Do you work every day? Do you work every day? Do you work every day? Platiquemos un ratito. Yo les hago estas preguntas y ustedes me contestan de acuerdo a su propia información o de acuerdo a su propia experiencia, ¿ok? Do you work okay. every day? Yes, I do. Yes, teacher. No. Ok, who said no? Who said no? I, teacher. I don't know work every day. You don't work every day? Ok. Uh, no. Then, when do you work? What days do you work? Uh, Monday and Friday. Oh, so you work every day. Well, this is considered like weekdays, right? Like weekdays. Ah, because okay. usually weekdays. we say, yeah, because usually we say, yeah, I work every day, even though I have the weekend off, <laughs> right? Yes, usually every day. Every day is every day. You're right. You are right. And you mm -hmm. understood correctly. But, uh, pero así como el concepto pre predeterminado por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Cuando uno le pregunta, do you work every day? Le decimos, oh yes, I do, because I work from Monday through Friday. Usually the weekends are not counted as days. <laughs> they are weekends. <laughs> they are weekend, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is why, but thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel, because it's a very good answer too. Now, do you work every day, Giovanni? Uh, we have Giovanni Pineda. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. So you work from Monday through Friday? Do you work from Monday through Friday? Yes. Okay. Good. Now let's see the next question. Do you practice biosecurity measurements to prevent COVID-19 in your workplace, in this case is COVID-19, okay, COVID-19, in your workplace? Yes. Yes. What measurements can you talk, uh, can you tell us about? Mascarilla in English? Masks. Masks. Yeah, masks. Uh, to use masks. Okay, wear masks. And, uh huh. And, and wash, and to wash uh, hand. Okay, washing your hands. And more. Okay, so you disinfect your area with alcohol, right? You have like sprays and gel for your hands and for your area, for your computer, Correct. maybe. You have uh, towels, wet towels or wet wipes uh, for disinfection, right? What else do yeah. you have in your workplaces? Uh, Maria Elena, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, How everyone. How are you tonight? Fine, great. Okay, nice. So uh, we are talking about the biosecurity measurements to prevent COVID-19. Uh, do you practice that in your school? Yes, I do. We practice with the security measure with uh, alcohol gel, okay. alcohol gel, um, mm -hmm. mass, temperature, and 
sanitizante. Ok. And, uh, desinfectant. Desinfectant. Sanitizer. We, we use sanitizer. Water. Ok. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Like ammoniac, right? Ammoniac yeah. and alcohol and everything like that. So now yeah. let's go to the next question. Do they pay monthly in your job? Do they pay monthly in your job, Kevin? Kevin's. Do they pay monthly in your job? Giovanni Ramirez? They pay. Every two weeks. Every two weeks. They pay every two weeks. Or bi weekly. Bi weekly. Okay. Bi weekly. Mm -hmm. Do they pay monthly in your job, uh, Raquel? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do they pay monthly in your job, Ana Cristina? No, teacher. Do they pay monthly in your job? Do they pay monthly in your job? I know. Uh, no sé, no sé cómo se dice. By weekly. By weekly. Every two weeks. But weekly. Mm -hmm. But weekly. Yes, okay. Cuando nosotros respondemos estas preguntas que empiezan con do, tenemos que decir uh, no or yes. Do you remember that? Entonces, en este caso, Ana Cristina y a Giovanni les pagan. Oh. Things happening. Okay. Creo que el teléfono de alguien sonó en este momento y nos hizo esa interferencia. Alejémoslo un poquitito de la computadora, que no esté cerquita. Okay. Pero aquí hubo como un relámpago, entonces también pudo haber sido eso. Okay. So, uh, podríamos decir, do they pay monthly in your job? Uh, yes, they do. Si me pagan mensual, ¿verdad? If not, if it is not uh, in that way, then we say no, they don't. Okay? They don't. Ponemos entonces la aclaración. They pay by weekly. Se me salió. They pay by weekly. There you are. Algo así sería nuestra respuesta. Y en una forma coloquial, oh, esta es la forma que debemos aprender desde un principio. ¿Por qué? Porque debemos educar a nuestro cerebro. Si no, nunca vamos a aprender eh, la forma correcta. Luego, in, when we are talking, we, um, we drop all those words. Y por último decimos solamente una palabra, ¿verdad? Pero la estructura la perdemos. Así que pongámosle ese cuidado, aprender correctamente una forma de responder ordenadamente. ¿Ok? So, do they pay monthly in your job, Juan Carlos? Uh, no, they don't. Uh, the pie be weakening. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now we are going to number four. Kevin Antonio, do you have weekends off? Do you have weekends off? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Do you have weekends off, Alejandra? No, they don't. No, I don't. No, no. I don't. Okay. Do you have weekends off, Carlos Eduardo? Hey. 
He told me it was raining and he was having some problems with uh, listening to us. Okay, let's see, Silvio, do you have weekends off? Yes, I do. Okay, but, thank you very much. But uh -huh. uh, sometimes I too, okay. I work on the, the Sunday, Sunday. Okay. Okay. Some Sundays you have to work. Okay, yes. good. Sometimes you go to work on Sundays. Very good. Number five, let's go to the other question. Do you like visiting relatives regularly? Uh, let's see, I had. Daniel Enrique, do you like visiting yes. relatives regularly? No, no, I don't. You don't, okay. How often do you visit your relatives? How often do what? you visit your relatives? How? Uh? How often do you visit your relatives? No está ahí la pregunta, es una de seguimiento, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you said that you don't like visiting your relatives regularly. But how often then you uh, do you visit your relatives? Visitar a quien? A sus familiares, familiares, mm -hmm. relatives. Never. <laughs> Never. They no. go to your house. Yes, I, okay. I am. Okay, you receive your visits in your house. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, great. Now let's see, let me see. Juan Carlos, do you like visiting relatives regularly? Yes, I do. Okay, how often do you visit your, your relatives? Uh, I visit relatives in two, uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice dos veces, a, dos veces por mes? Uh, twice a month. Twice, twice a month. A month. Uh -huh. Twice okay. a month. Okay. Good, good. Very good. So now let's see. Um, let me see. One, two, six. Suleyma, is your family originally from San Salvador? Yes, I do. Ah, okay. Here. Is your family? Is? Aquí no tenemos do. Vamos a ver cómo se contesta. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, it's. Yes, it. Mm. Uh -huh. teacher. Excuse me? Se me ha ido, le digo. Okay. Yes, yes it is. Okay. okay. Aquí yes, estamos tomando. It, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Esta palabra family siempre nos da un poquito de problema porque es un nombre colectivo y muchas veces no sabemos si va con el verbo en plural o el verbo en singular, ¿verdad? Decimos, ponemos plural o ponemos singular. En este caso, cuando vemos family in a whole thing, como una sola cosa, entonces utilizamos is. Pero si nos, referi nos refiriéramos a family como trabajando cada uno en su área, ¿ok? Or, for example, doing something, uh, but each individual each member of the family, then we use a, um, a plural verb, a plural verb. For example, if I say, do your family uh, eat together? Okay, do your family eat together? Because everybody is at the table, right? They're, they are individuals eating, okay? So I use plural and then I say, oh yes, they do. But in this case, we are using a singular thing because the whole group 
as a unit, my almost like my last name is originally from San Salvador. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, teacher. Okay, Sulema. Everybody okay with that explanation about family? It's a collective noun. Y hay que tener el cuidado si lleva plural o singular. Okay. Bien. Let's see the number seven. Is your workplace near your home? Is your workplace near your home? No. No? Do you drive to get your yes. job? Yes, to no. get to your job? Do you take a bus? Yes. Okay, good, good. Yes, it's I go far, bus. far away. <laughs> Okay, it's far away. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Far, far away. And How, far? Shrek. Shrek. How far? How <laughs> far? <laughs> like Shrek. Aha, uh -huh. okay, far, far away. Okay. <laughs> so, how far? How far is your workplace from your home? How far? Cuanto de lejos? How far? For example, I am living in Santa Ana and my work is in San Salvador. Oh my God, yes, it is but, really but, far. But now it's home office. <laughs> oh, good, good. For it changes everything. One year. <laughs> For one year. Oh, good. That's a, that's a good um, a deal. That's a good deal because you don't have, I mean, you save a little. Uh, you save more money, right? You save more money. So yes, it's good. I think so. I think so. And you have some more time with your family. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ideal. It's ideal. Yes, it's ideal. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's uh, see. Let's see the last, the last question. Does your bus have a personal assistant? Does your, your bus have a personal assistant? Linda, Carlos, everyone, please. Yes, he does. Yes? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Very good. Who else? Let's see, Linda? Are you there, Linda? Again, Giovanni Pineda, does your bus have a personal assistant? Uh, no, my bus is. Okay, and in this no, case? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, my bus isn't. Um, okay, let's try again. Let's try again. No. No, he doesn't. Okay, si fuera él, ¿verdad? Si fuera él, decimos he doesn't. Very good. Si fuera ella, porque como your boss, we don't know if it is a she or if it is a he. Giovanni, is your uh, boss a woman or is your boss a man? A man. Okay, then you can say, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Esa sería la respuesta correcta. Veamos entonces. My, my boss, no, no se podría. ¿Cómo no? Claro que sí. Podría utilizar, no, my boss, my my boss, boss doesn't. doesn't. Uh -huh. oh, my, I'm sorry. My boss doesn't. Okay. Yes, of course. You can say that. No, my boss doesn't. So, we talked a little. Voy a enviarles este link que tengo acá para que ustedes puedan eh, estudiar o leer en su tiempo que ustedes eh, designan para estudiar para que puedan ver la diferencia de los nombres eh, del número del sujeto. 
El número significa plural o singular. ¿Cuándo utilizar un plural? ¿Cuándo utilizar un singular? Eh, ¿Qué verbo lleva? ¿Verdad? Si es singular, si es plural. En este caso, si ustedes miran acá, ok, the first one, do you, estamos hablando de un singular, pero es segunda persona, entonces utilizamos do, ok. Veamos un singular, is your family, es un singular, utilizamos is. Otro singular, does your boss, porque your boss es he or she, utilizamos el auxiliar does. Ok. Here we are. Now let me take the attendance and we are going to continue. Teacher, ¿nos puede poner en el chat el, el link? Sí, yo se los voy a enviar ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Digo, pero en el, en el chat aquí de... Es que a mí me cuesta tomarlo del celular. Ok. No sé si aquí en sí, este. sí, Gracias. lo puedo pasar por el Zoom. It's almost done. Ahorita lo paso. Chat. Here it is. There you have it. There you are. And I'm, uh, let me see if it opens. Okay, now let me take the attendance. Okay. I'm having troubles, trouble with the attendance list for some reason. Here we are. Today is Tuesday the 13th and let's start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Iván Ernesto Elías. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. No, Karina. Carla Verónica Suria López.
Ustedes no tienen problemas con, con su inter. ¿No les está dando yeah. problema? Sí, yes, es que está lloviendo fuerte. Yes, teacher. Ok. Está lloviendo fuerte. Por eso tengo la cámara desactivada. Ok. Yo siento que esto está muy lento. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, permítanme que de repente I got a pop up in my screen. Uh -huh. The WhatsApp got disconnected and then it pops up again, like restarting by itself. One second. Here we are. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now here we are. And let's continue. We go to our manuals and let's go to the page that we were. We were talking about the about the industry vocabulary yesterday. And we have an activity that we didn't do yesterday. So let's refresh a little. Let's uh, make this little feedback talking about or um, seeing the vocabulary that we learned, okay? Here we are. Let me share the screen with you and Let's see it. Let's look at this. Here we are. Let's remember these words. Let's remember these words and also the industry type that they belong to. These are kind of the products or the, uh, and these are the industry um, name or the industry type. And this is the vocabulary that we have to manage. So banks, banks, soft drinks, guided tours, guided tours, cardboard boxes, cardboard boxes, buildings, buildings, mobile phones, mobile phones, medicine, medicine, Car components, car components, car components, hair salon services, hair salon services, clothes, clothes, clothes. So now let's see the industry type, the beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, 
the telecommunications industry, the finance industry, the automotive industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, the pharmaceutical industry. Now, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, letter G. Mm -hmm. yes. repetirlo. The packaging. Ah, packaging. Pa mm -hmm. Packaging. Yes. Okay. Packaging industry. Packaging industry. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? H. H, the beverage, beverage industry. Beverage. 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 Uh -huh. I think some people, it's very familiar with that industry, right? <laughs> some people not here in this class, not here. <laughs> the beverage industry. Hay mucha gente que está muy familiarizada con esa industria, ¿verdad? Pero aquí en esta clase no, aquí no, nadie, ¿verdad? Aquí todos tomamos jugo, apple juice, orange juice. So beverage industry, right? Beverage industry. And soda, yeah, soda is belonging to the beverage industry. Yeah, the carbonate drinkings. And those are soft drinks. Soda are soft drinks too. Okay. Now let's remember. Let's remember. What does your company do? What does your company do? What is a good answer for that? Let's see with your own information. Con su propia información. What does your company do, Nancy Vet? Como teacher, perdón, what? What does your company do? Uh, the finance industry. Okay. Okay. And what is the product? Do you have a product or do you have a service or do you offer a service? Service. Okay. Um, service. Is it a bank or something like that? It is go cooperator. Uh, okay, it's kind of a bank. Like that, cooperative. <laughs> yeah, like that. Or an association, right? Association. So association. yeah, yes, but yes, it's, uh, you can say cooperative or you can say also association. But in this case, you are, Related to the money business, right? Money business. In this case, like banking, banking things, banking activities. So you can say, and it's very, it's a very good answer. Podría decirlo, we yes. are, we are in the finance or the financial industry. Okay. okay. Uh, finance industry. Okay. Thank you. We are, ese sería Why? el verbo. Acuérdense que tenemos varios verbos. ¿Cuáles son los verbos que utilizamos cuando nos hacen esa pregunta? What are the verbs we use with that question? What does your company do? We produce, we make, we manufacture, okay? We offer, we specialize, we do, we are. Verbos de acción. En todo caso, we are cuando es un servicio, ¿verdad? Cuando es un servicio, más que todo. Cuando tenemos un producto tangible, tiene que ser un verbo de acción. We produce, we manufacture, etc. So now, the exercise is, write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of the businesses below. Share your sentences with a partner. So let's do it together and let's share the, the sentences here in the class. 
what kind of business do you think is fix and care? Fix and care. Fix and care. Teacher, what do you say, uh, costura? Uh, sewing. Sewing. Yes, sewing, like this. S-E-W-I-N-G. S-E-W-I-N-G. Sewing. Sewing. Sewing is fix and care. Fix and care. Oh, you were talking about clothes. A clothes. Yes. Clothes about. industry. <laughs> okay. So in that case, we could, well, in the textile industry. But in this case, I think they are not producing something. But let's see. Let, let's say that at Fix and Care, así sería nuestra primera eh, respuesta. Veamos. Tenemos que hacerlo como el ejemplo. Veamos cómo es el ejemplo. At Refresh and, la, and Live, uh, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Okay, at refresh. Eso es muy importante porque live, live es vivir, ¿verdad? Pero live es como estar vivo. Okay. Aquí podría ser que se llama refresh and live or refresh and live. Okay. Refresco y avivado, okay, or something like that. But in this case, we can say refrescar y vivir, okay, in an infinitive. So let's go to the next one. At Refresh and Live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. A ver, utilicemos esa misma estructura. At Fix and Care. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa fix? ¿Cómo coser? Reparar. Yeah, to repair. To repair. Uh -huh. Okay, to repair. What do we repair? What um, needs a reparation or what um, could be fixed? Fixed. Do you think the cars? ¿Se acuerdan cuando veíamos el, la voz pasiva? Teníamos una oración con ese verbo, fix. When we talk about Mike, the mechanic, do you remember? So we are talking about what product? Acordémonos de los verbos y de los productos. At fix and care. Podríamos utilizar. Uh, uh -huh. uh, service de automotive industries. Okay. We provide. Okay. Uh -huh. We provide what? You said service to cars and automotives, right? Pero el producto que tenemos acá en esta lista es car components. ¿Lo ven? Okay. Car components. Entonces podríamos decir we provide, we distribute, we sell, we... Mm, parts, parts of car. Okay. Par, uh, car parts. Car is parts. car components, okay? Car parts are car components. Aquí lo tenemos en la lista arriba. Car components, number eight. Miran el número ocho? Car components. Entonces, we provide car components. Como les digo, podemos utilizar el mismo verbo del ejemplo we distribute, okay? 
si yo soy el productor o yo soy la fábrica, entonces puedo decir, um, we manufacture, ¿ok? Podríamos decir también que solo vendemos, ¿verdad? Like, we sell our components. We are in the automotive industry. Correct? Aquí estamos describiendo a lo que se dedica nuestra compañía. What does our company do? At Fix and Care, we sell car components. We are in the automotive industry. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál creen que sea el producto que ellos hacen o que el servicio que ellos ofrecen? Del listado Venta que de tienen molir. arriba. Guided Tours. Guided Tours. Guided Tours. tours. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo podríamos Apps hacerlo? We offer Guided Tours. Excelente. We are tourist industry uh -huh. in, in the in the tourist industry. Excellent. In the tourism industry. There we are. Next one. At okay. Business bank. Okay. At business. Uh huh. Was Giovanni Alexander who was giving the answer? ¿Quién estaba dando la respuesta? Porque estoy tratando de ubicarlo. Sorry, I'm the same. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Carlos Alberto. Continue. Okay, uh, business bank, we provide financing options. Good. We are the Finance industry. Okay. There we are. Next one. Who wants to participate with uh, the last one? Juan Carlos, do you want to participate with that one? The Sun Resort. At the Sun Resort. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. so uh, no sé qué es uh, resort. Hotel. Wow, hotel. 
Uh -huh. Un lugar de descanso donde usted se puede quedar o disfrutar. Sun Resort es como un hotel de playa, supongo, porque okay, es okay. Uh -huh. uh, eh, Offer. We, we offer uh, set, mm -hmm. service uh, uh, the, the, the habitation como poner servicio de habitación room service uh, Sí, no, no sé cómo se diría, ofrecer habitaciones cómodas o algo así. Good prices to stay. Good prices to stay. Good prices to stay. Uh -huh. Good prices to stay. Ok. Or rooms in good prices or, yeah, good prices to stay. Uh -huh. Now let me see something because in the first in the first dialogue that we have in our manual do you remember that you're talking um about a hotel do you remember when they were saying something about the mission and the vision se acuerdan en el primer diálogo estaban hablando de un hotel así a ver si podemos llegar ahí creo que sería la página 9 vamos a la página 9 so encontrarlo también aquí para que ustedes vean eh, una forma de decir check in and check out verdad para hablar de las habitaciones la estadía perdón de las personas I'm looking for it here okay a ver este no corre así nomás ¿Alguien ya llegó a la página 9? Yes, teacher. Ok. Puede leer la parte donde está hablando, están en el diálogo y dice acerca de la misión y visión y cuál es la misión. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Ok. Ve, ahí hay una forma de decir eso, la estadía. Ok. La estadía, uh, we offer uh -huh, a good service. ¿Qué me uh, Sí. ¿Me lo puede repetir, por favor? Can you repeat okay. that? At home from check-in to check-out. We make guests feel at home oh. from check-in. Check-in to check out okay we are in the tourism we are tourism industry there you are Marocata, Marocata. In the tourism industry. Correct. Do you have any questions so far? Or so far so good? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta aquí o vamos bien hasta aquí? Yo estoy chorro todo bien. Ok. What about everyone? Yes, teacher, no teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, Thank teacher. you very much. Thank you. Now yes, let's continue. Teacher. I have to erase this to continue.
Okay, we are going to practice a dialogue right now. Just let me ask you something. Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? ¿Llegan invitados a su compañía? ¿Usualmente reciben gente ajena a la compañía que llega a conocer y a ver la acción de la compañía? Yes. Okay. And do you enjoy welcoming guests? ¿Les gusta que lleguen los invitados o diferente gente? Gente distinta de, de los que normalmente trabajan ahí. Do you enjoy welcoming guests? ¿Les gusta yeah. recibir client, eh, invitados? No. No, teacher. No. No, teacher. Why? Estamos Why? en pandemia. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if they have the virus and they are going to give us some of it, right? Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. You get nervous, you get nervous, maybe because they are going to observe what do you do and what uh, the way you are doing your job and they have to um, score and they have to give you a score or something like that. So let's read because in this um, in this conversation we have two people and they are talking about a training or a new trainer or something related to that and he wants to know people. Cuando nosotros eh, recibimos a alguien, pues tenemos que socializar con esa persona, ¿verdad? Y tenemos que presentarle, este es fulanito, este es menganito, este es sutanito, y este es tres y otros más, ¿verdad? Y and then we are uh, introducing people all the time. We are uh, showing the place to that person, and we need to have some Handy questions. Tenemos que tener algunas preguntas a la mano, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer un repaso de el present simple. Present simple. Present simple information questions. ¿Ok? I, en eso fijémonos en esta conversación. I'm going to read it first and then you are going to practice in the breakout rooms. ¿Ok? Let's see. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Jong? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you too. Um, me, oh, I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. She's in charge of purchases. Aquí estamos utilizando esta palabra purchases como el nombre, ¿verdad? No de las ventas en sí, o de, de hacer, de la acción, sino que de el uh, nombre, no del verbo. Porque entonces, aquí diría of purchasing, purchasing, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos una preposición acá, of. Ok, vamos a leerlo nuevamente. ¿Qué es lo que está sucediendo aquí? What is happening? There is a new trainer or a trainer arriving to that workplace. So let's see. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Jung? Yes, I am. I'm Mrs. Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. L let me introduce the staff. This is Mario, he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, uh, Mr. Jung, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. 
Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Teacher, poor, uh -huh. eh, Mr. John, el último, eh, poor chase. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Poor chases. Poor chases. chases. Ajá. Ok, teacher. Poor chases. Esa es compras. Thanks, teacher. Ok. No questions? Ok, let's see Daniel and Raquel, please. And also, um, vamos a incluir a Nancy. Okay, because here we have three people. Tenemos Mrs. Tate, Mr. Young, and Mario. Nancy is Mario, Mrs. Tate is Raquel, and Daniel is Mr. Young. Teacher, Leo, quién es? Thank you. Leo, uh, who is be, uh, below you? Alejandra. Alejandra is Leo. Okay. ¿Quién soy yo? Okay, teacher. Mr. John. Mr. John. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Mrs. Tate. I the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager. This is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Mario, nice to meet you. Leo, what do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Mm. Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is in charge of purchase. Purchases, okay. Purchases. <laughs> Very good. So right now we are going to the breakout rooms. I'm going to split the group into the breakout rooms. And I want you to complete the questions. After you practice this, okay. You have to complete these questions. Please, what is the important here? Uh, the important thing here is remember, is it plural or is it singular? Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to create the groups. Okay, there you are. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Okay. Carlos Eduardo, are you there? Did you receive the invitation to join to the group? Carlos Eduardo?
Okay. What well, does it Mario do? Okay. Vaya. ¿Qué hace Mario? Okay, entonces, en Mario hace Mario. Eh, hello, interviews. ¿Qué hace Mario? Eh, yo creo que está en. Eh, en Porque si dice que. La intervención de Mr. John. Ah, sí, sí. He is the branch manager. Ajá, he is branch the manager. Branch the manager. He is. The branch manager. Ok. Nice. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Are you confused? <laughs> are you confused? Why? Tell uh, me. I decide to, to use a, a auxiliary does or mm -hmm. to be. For example, what does Mario do? Is correct or what is Mario do? No, what does? What does? What does? Mm -hmm. If the answer is correct, he is the branch manager. Yes, it is correct. It is correct. The thing here is that when you ask, what do you do? Uh, you Usually you say your profession or your occupation. For example, if I ask, uh, or if, I, if you ask me, what do you do, Carmen? I'm going to say, I am a teacher. I'm not going to say, I do a teacher. I am ah. a teacher. Mm -hmm. So this is why you feel that confusion, but that's the correct form uh, for uh, to answer this question. Sí, yo, we do, we yo ten, tenía esa duda de, de si haces si era con, con el auxiliar das. I, I do, I, I don't. Entonces, tenía esa duda como que si la pregunta con el da es con el auxiliar do, la respuesta tendría que ser con el con el do. Si yeah, and, and you're right. It's a good thinking. If you think straight, si pensamos así en, en directo, yes, it is correct as you said. But the thing here is that when you are asked, um, what do you do? You have to say your profession or your occupation using the to be verb. So you use, what does uh, Mario do? He is a something, something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, there you are. He's the... Uh... Branch. Okay. What do you do? Giovanni, you were saying something? Were you saying something? Did you have a question? Uh, uh, teacher, uh, uh -huh. we use does when, when when it's occupation. Uh, yes, in this case, yes, because that's the phrase we are right. using. What do you do and what does she or he do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sigue la misma regla del do y el das, ¿verdad? Para el you es do. But uh, we, they is do. But he and she is does. Okay. Y cuando contestamos, contestamos siempre siguiendo la regla del to be. Para he, she, it is. Y para um, you, we, they are. Okay. There you are. Okay. 
Kevin, are we okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Is it okay, Nancy? Yes, okay. Okay, I'm leaving the room. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Hello. We finished. Okay, great, great. Did you practice the conversation? Uh, yes, but we, uh, sin Kevin, practiquemos entonces con Kevin, porque él entró después. Okay, okay, practice, please. Okay. Uh, Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yeah, Mr. John. Usted Mr. John y la demás es Raquel. Okay, yes I am. I'm Miss Said. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, on, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am chair of the kitchen staff. Great. Mm, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is chairman of the purchase, purchases. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Purchases. Mm -hmm. In charge of the purchases. Okay. No le escuchamos, teacher. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, I'm going to another room to see how are they doing, how they are doing, and uh, we meet in the main room. Continue practicing. Okay. Okay. There you okay. are. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh. Bye. Great. Mm. Great. Mm. Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She is in charge of pushes. Okay. Okay. We are will be linguists. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, adelante hemos entonces a la siguiente a la siguiente conversación. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's go. <laughs> okay, very good. So now I think we finished the activity and we are going to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay, I, I finished activity teacher. The finish. Please let me take the attendance. 
uh, corresponding to nine o'clock. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going over there. Here we are. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Iván Ernesto Elías. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Uh, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Ibeto Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Suleima, ok. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Ok. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Delmi Herrera. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Okay. And what about Juan, uh, Juan Ramón? He couldn't he, make it? Yes, but he... El no salió del trabajo. He, oh, he okay. didn't go. Yes. Okay. He couldn't make it. Okay. Yes. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Ok, Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, now let's continue with the activity. The activity is uh, to complete. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Present teacher. Ale Mora, se me desconectó un rato el inter. Ok, no problem, no problem. I'm going to check you in right now, ok. Thanks. Uh, here we are. Okay, there you are. Okay, let me check. There we are. Okay, people, let's see. Complete the questions, then write the answers. So number one, what is the question? Let's complete that question. What does, what does Mario, Mario do? do? Excellent. What does Mario do? And what is the answer? He's the branch, He's the branch manager. Branch manager. Correct. He is the branch manager. Branch. branch. <laughs> that word is like uh, complicated. Branch. branch. Uh -huh. Number branch. two. Number two. What do you do, Leo? Okay. What? Again? Do you do, Leo? Okay. Do you now, do? What is the answer? I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. 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 Excellent. Number three. What does Nisa over there do? Okay. In this case, is what does Nisa do? Okay. What does Nisa do? And what is the answer for that question? Is in charge of okay, thank you very much. Here is very important that we notice the plural and the singular. This is the main topic for today. In the simple present, 
and, and other tenses. But in this case, simple present, we need to check or to be sure that we are using the correct form of the verb, if it is singular or if it is plural. In this case, do you see the number four exercise or this box we have right here? The pink one, it says use personnel with plural verbs. It says use personnel with plural verbs. En el, en el link que les envié, ustedes van a poder ver por qué está diciendo eso esta casilla acá, esta casilla de explicación. Cuando ustedes vean un nombre colectivo, when you see a collective noun, then you have to use the plural, the plural of the verb. So in this case, we are going to say all personnel are trained to provide first aid. The personnel at the plant are certified. Okay, now let's see what is going on with staff. Staff, this is a very complicated word too, because staff is, it could be a unit and it could be each individual in the group. But let's see, use staff followed by a singular or a plural verb, use staff, followed by a singular or a plural verb. En este caso, okay, si lo utilizamos con singular o con plural, muchas veces no se notaría la diferencia y no habría como un error, ¿verdad? No habría como un error. Yo podría decir the staff work 40 hours a week o podría decir the staff works 40 hours a week, 40 hours a week. Ahora, veamos. Our kitchen staff follow the Ministry of Health regulations. Pero también podría decir, our kitchen staff follows, follows the Ministry of Health regulation. Okay. What is the difference here? Ahí lo van a poder ver en el que les envié, pero en el momento les digo, cuando lo vemos, esto es como familia. Do you remember that I said about family in the beginning? Como familia, un nombre colectivo. Cuando se refiere a u, al staff como la unidad, podríamos utilizar el plural, ah, perdón, el singular. Y cuando nos referimos a cada miembro de esa unidad que hace alguna acción, entonces utilizamos ¿verdad? El, um, el plural. ¿Ok? Entendido ahí. ¿Entendido? What is the plural here? Uh, work. What is the singular? Works. Work. In this case, the staff works 40 hours a week. Podríamos decir toda la unidad, ¿verdad? Pero como nos referimos a cada individuo, podríamos utilizarlo. The staff work 40 hours a week. ¿Correct? Bien. Let's continue. Y ahora veamos las information, pues, las preguntas de información. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Please tell me, what are the information questions? ¿Cuáles son esas preguntas de información? ¿Cómo las diferenciamos? A ver, voy a soltar yo mi micrófono, desactivo mi audio y ustedes solos van a explicar cuáles son las preguntas de información, qué palabras utilizamos, qué eh, auxiliar utilizamos, cuándo lo utilizamos, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. I want to hear you guys.
I don't understand the activity. And number two, what do you do? Okay, the activity here, uh, lo voy a volver a decir en español, es que usted, yo desactivo mi audio y ustedes van a decirme cuáles son las preguntas de información, cómo las diferenciamos las preguntas de información, eh, qué auxiliares usamos, cómo se utilizan, cuáles son las preguntas, que, las palabras de pregunta que utilizamos, a qué se refieren, ¿ok? This is previous knowledge. This is previous knowledge. Don't worry if you don't know, but if you know, please answer. And number two, go ahead. Yo recuerdo que iba a question what auxiliary sujet verb complement y vocabulario eh, what where eh, who eh, what time eh, como decía un compañero este una pregunta what do you do what do you do where do you work Exactly, exactly. Those are the information questions. We use the WH words, the WH words. What are the WH words? Let's, uh, let's write them here. Let's write them here. What are the WH words? What, where, what other? Please tell me. Who? Uh -huh. Why? Excellent. Uh -huh. How? How? Mm -hmm. What, where, who, how, why? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Time. Uh huh. When, okay, when do we use what? When do we use what? When we want to ask about something about a thing. Okay, cuando queremos saber algo acerca de alguna cosa. Okay, a thing. Entre estas cosas incluso puede estar animals, objects. Okay. When we refer a thing, animal, object, okay? Where, where? Place. Place, okay, excellent. When we want to ask about a place. Who, when we want Object. to know about a? Subject. Okay, subject in this case uh, is a person or people, okay? A person or a group of, per of people. And how? When do we use how? When we want to know about a manner or a way of doing something, right? A manner or a way. Why? When do we use why? When we want to know a reason. Yes, correct, a reason. Now, what about when? Time. 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 Okay, good. Time. Time. So now let's see here in these questions. Let's see in, let's look at these questions and let's notice the 
auxiliary that we use for the present. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What department do you supervise? What department do you supervise? What branch does she manage? Where does your company manufacture? Where does your company manufacture? What unit do you oversee? What unit do you oversee? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Now, please, Maria Elena, read number one. What department does Marta manage? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, we are in the, in the box, the okay. examples. Uh -huh. What do you do? Thank you. Number two, Carlos Eduardo. What department do you supervise? Thank you, Alejandra. Number three. What branch does she manage? Thank you. Manager. Thank you, Alejandra. Number four, uh, Juan Carlos. Where does your company manu manufacture? Thank you. Number five, Suleyma, please. Overseas. 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 Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Number six. Me puede ser un poquito más para arriba el. Okay. Uh, para arriba. Porque se me perdió aquí. Okay. Here it is. Can you see it? Who do you report to? Okay. Six, who do you report to? Thank you very much. Now, according to this and according to the explanation that I gave you guys, please complete this box. Completen este cuadrito que está acá. Okay? Vamos a ver. Podría empezar a leerlo, por favor, Carlos Alberto. Y los, y los va ayudando. Okay? Usted va a manejar ahorita como que fuera el teacher. Okay. Okay. There okay. you go. To ask information questions in the simple present tense, begin with a... WH question. What do you think, guys? Begin with a WH phrase, phrase WH or, or a subject. WH word? WH first. WH question. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Carlos Alberto. So in this case, here is referring to a WH phrase or word. For example, here, if you see who do you report to, only the WH word. The WH phrase, what unit, what branch, what department, you see? Two or more words is a phrase. So WH phrase or WH word, okay? Entonces, pueden escribir acá. Pueden escribir acá ustedes, WH, phrase or word. O lo pueden también subrayar. Ok. Like this, WH, phrase or word. There you are. Now, continue, please, Linda. Follow by... Do, does, or subject? Mm -hmm. What is correct? Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Continue, please, Juan Carlos. Uh, plus, object. here, plus. Plus the, the subject. Subject. 
Subject. Subject. Mm -hmm. And continue, please, uh, Giovanni uh, Ramirez. At, at the... Baseball. Baseball. Yes, or... teléfono de alguien me está haciendo pero que conste que no es el mío it's not near here there you are I'm sorry Giovanni Ramirez I'm sorry okay add the base form okay base form base thank form. you very much of the verb and any other phrase so the complement right now Pongamos esto entonces en estructura. Let's write this in a structure. What is the structure? Do you see WH? Uh, there it says WH. I'm oh, sorry. WH word or phrase. or WH phrase. Okay, plus, I'm sorry, plus do or does plus mm -hmm. nice. uh, uh huh. Plus. Base form. Base form. Okay. Base form. Plus. Complement. Okay. And this is the structure for a question. This is the structure for a question in the simple present. Okay. There you are. According to this, according to this, let's go to this exercise. Just let me erase these lines. Okay, now let's see, uh, Maria Elena was going to read the example. Maria Elena, please, can you read the example? Okay, uh, what department does Marta manage? Thank you very much. What department does Mar Marta manage? Aquí tenemos un verbo, ok, aquí tenemos un verbo y lo tenemos que utilizar para crear la pregunta basado en la respuesta, ok. Entonces, vámonos al breakout room y lo hacemos, ok. Voy a dejar de compartir. I'm going to uh, stop sharing and let's go to the groups and you are going to do that. There you are. A mí uh -huh. no me salió este para unirme como me saqué, como se me fue la luz del internet, no sé. Okay. Pero estaba en el grupo uno. Con, okay. con Giovanni Pineda. Ok. Este, I'm sending you right now. Uh, is it okay there? Uh, no, Juan Ramón cayó allí instead of you. 
I'm going to send you to another group. Okay, Suleyma, is it okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, there you are. You are going to room three. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. There you are. Maria Elena, are you there? María Elena. Okay. Ana, Ana Delmi, are you there? Did you receive the invitation, Ana Herrera? Ana Delmi. Ana recibió la invitación. Ana Delmi, are you there? Let me go and check here. Yes. Okay. Dame. Dice. The assemb assembler yeah. to supervise. Sería who también va? Mm -hmm. What department? No. Es, es prácticamente no. la, la, la número 6 exacta de la anterior. Who do you report to? Oh, sin, sin el you, perdón. Eh, sería entonces what do Ensemblers report to. ¿Cómo? Would do. La cuatro, ¿cómo sería? With, would does. Would. Does ensemble report to. Da, pero ¿por qué sería does? Solo does. Es tercera persona. Y the ensembler, the ensembler oh, no es. No escuché la W question. Ah, okay. The ensemble is, is who does ensemble report to. Y the ensemble no es un departamento. Ellos. No, ensemblers, eh, sí, son los ensambladores. Ah, entonces ensambladores. Sí sería, serían ellos. Porque podemos comenzar con what department. Ah, ellos, sí. Who do sería. Ajá, porque son ellos. Yes. yes. Who do. Report to. Entonces sí, con el Would you the ensembler? Would do. Okay. Report to. Would do. Ensemblers. 
Esto es de Supervisor. Send the report to the Supervisor. Ahí sería Cuerva. Where do, yes, where, where, where do, 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 where Por ejemplo, el puertas overs puertas teacher for three for three mm -hmm. uh, I think the question where does Claudio overs oversee the branch or where the branch does Claudio oversee? Okay, in this case, I think it's not exactly where. They are talking about the branch. The branch is a thing, is a thing. Okay. So we can say what branch, okay? Mm -hmm. But say in, in Ilopango is the specific, specific place. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, eso I, es para I... hacerla como directa, ¿verdad? Pero sí, claro que la puede decir diciendo where, pero entonces va a dar una gran vuelta para llegar a lo mismo. Entonces, es, la mejor es what branch. Ah, sí, 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 sí. sí. Es, que, es que es sucursal, ¿verdad? Yes. yes ah, sí. Is. Yo estaba pensando, eh, ¿dónde está la sucursal? Ah, ok. Oh. No, the branch is like the office in el Opango, right? Okay, okay. What mm -hmm. branch? Okay. What branch? What branch? Tell me. Oh, the num the question number. Maybe uh, what does. What mm -hmm. does Claudio oversee the branch? Again? What does Claudio oversee the branch? Uh, no. In this case, if you want to talk about Claudio as a subject in your question, tendría que preguntar who, who does oversee, okay? Who does oversee the branch in El Opango? Ok, para que entonces la respuesta sea Claudio oversees the branch en el opango. ¿Es it ok, Giovanni? Yes, ok. If you are referring to the place, yes, you can use where, pero se hace más larga. No es como decir what branch does Claudio oversee, ¿verdad? Um, teacher, four, um, podemos ocupar en esta, ¿cómo se dice? How? El, Así digo, dije, digo, what branch Claudio over city? Remember the structure, Giovanni. Remember the structure. We have WH word, then we need do or does. Okay, so WH word in this case is uh, 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 WH phrase is what branch? What branch? Ahora utilizo do o utilizo does? Utilizo does porque voy a preguntar por Claudio, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
What branch does Claudio? Que es el subject. Y luego digo el verbo en su forma base, oversee. Okay. Entonces, no, no necesariamente tiene que ir el do o el do o el das después de la W question. No, porque puede ser una frase. It could be a phrase. Puede ser una frase de pregunta. Eso decíamos, pueden ser más de una pregunta. What branch, what department, what unit. Ok, ahí es una frase. ¿Es it okay, Giovanni? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm. Teacher. Yes, Nancy. Uh, number four. Uh, how, podría, bueno, podría ser how do assemblers report to? Uh, utilizar how how or who? How, how do? Si estamos preguntando por una persona, tenemos que usar cuál palabra. The supervisor is a person, ¿verdad? Ah. Entonces, we have to use what word, what WH word. ¿Cuál pregunta? ¿Cuál palabra de pregunta? What. Uh, si es una persona. Who. 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 Who, es que me cuesta pronunciarla. Entonces okay. quedaría Who do assemblers report to? O sea, es como decir. You don't look ah, at me. Yay, 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 yay. You are good. Yay. <risa> ya <risa> la tenía, ya la tenía Nancy. Hey, come on, Nancy. Look at me, look at me. <risa> es, que, es que me cuesta pronunciar how. Eso, eso sí. Es que ese es who. Who? As, who? If you're, uh -huh. as if you are saying to the dog, who, 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 sígalo, sígalo, right? Like something who? like that. Who? 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 Yeah. Okay. That's the word. That's With the correct something. pronunciation. Who? Con una J. Who? Okay, teacher. There you are. Who do the stumbers Okay, I'm going to another room. See you there in the main room, okay? Okay. Hola, Hello. teacher. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? We have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, and number three mm -hmm. is what branch does Claudio oversee? Correct. Or... Eso es. Yes, correct. D did you have another option? Uh, where does Claudio sí, oversee? Where? Uh, where does Claudio where oversee? Where does Claudio oversee? Mm. Oh, no. Sí, sí podría ser, sí podría ser, pero la pregunta más directa usando una frase completa, ¿verdad? What branch? What? Mm -hmm. what? Exactly. What branch? Ah, entonces no sé where. No, no es where. Podría utilizar where y estaría bien. Eso es lo que quiero hablar con ustedes al regresar al main room, ¿ok? Que no existe solo una manera para poder preguntar algo, ¿verdad? Así como en español podemos decirlo de muchas maneras, dependiendo en qué nos centremos o cuál sea la respuesta que yo quiero. For example, if I want to ask for the place, only the place, okay, then I say where. But if I want to know, um, well, in this case, if we More are specific, excuse me? more specific yeah it's more specific because you are using the wh word referring to places that is where right where does claudio oversee and it is correct it is correct and also is correct if you say what branch does claudio oversee it is gra grammatical correct okay 
Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. There you are. Just let me uh, go. To... We are going back to the main room. Okay. 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 Thank you. Entonces, si queremos poner el. Microphone. Microphone. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, well, let's see number two. Yeah. Number two. Question? Number two. Yes, please. Who do you, who do you supervise 19 in the department? Mm. Yes. What, 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 what do you department? think? What department do you supervise? What department do you supervise? Okay. What department do you super supervise? Supervise. 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 Okay. Department supervise. Oh, teacher, uh -huh. it's correct. Where do you supervise? Where do you supervise? Mm, where? Not exactly because they are not saying uh, places there. Even though you are referring to that. Pero en este caso es uh, una cosa, the maintenance department. Uh, eso es lo que estaba hablando con el grupo anterior, con el último grupo. Dependiendo de la situación en que usted esté, van a ir surgiendo otras maneras de preguntarlo. Porque imagínense que en ese momento, sí, Carlos Eduardo, eh, por ejemplo, usted dice, bueno, a mí me va a tocar ir. Al, ¿verdad? O, o moverme hacia ese lugar donde está esa área, entonces podríamos decir where, porque a ti te toca en tal lugar, a ti te toca en tal lugar y a ti en tal lugar, y son departamentos. We could use where, pero eso dependería del lugar. Ahora, en esta generalidad que estamos viendo, en the general thing, eh, podríamos, eh, de acuerdo a lo que está escrito, que no tiene ninguna otra referencia, we could say what department, okay? What department do you supervise? Uh -huh. En algún momento, sí, Carlos Eduardo, sería correcto decirlo así. Okay. Thank you. Number three. What branch does Claudio Versi? Excellent, excellent. Do you have another option, a different question? Where does Claudia oversee? Thank you very much. This is another question that we could use. Where, where, okay? Volviendo al mismo punto, con lo que está escrito, podríamos decir what branch, okay? Podría en su momento ser correcto decir where, okay? Number four. Teacher, ¿y who no aplicaría? It depends, porque si usted se refiere y quiere enfatizar. Who does oversee? Ajá. Uh -huh. 
The branching in Lopango. The branching in Lopango. Yes, correct. If you do it grammatically correct, there is no problem. Okay. You. you can use who to if you are asking about Claudio. Yes, you can do that. Number four. Number four. Oh, guys, it's 10.02 now. It's 10.02. We are going to stop over here and let me take the attendance. And we are going to continue. Uh, they. Oh, thank you very much, Carlos. Okay, vamos a parar hasta ahí porque ya es 10 con dos minutos. And I know that you are tired. So we are going to finish that tomorrow. And also, we are going to have a conversation tomorrow using those questions. Remember that communication is questions and answers. Comunicación está basado en quién dice qué, a quién, cómo, cuándo, dónde y en qué lugar, ¿verdad? O por qué medio. So that's communication. So and we need to learn how to ask questions. Okay, now let me go to the attendance list and let's start. Alejandra. Present teacher. Vanessa Mora Rodriguez, thank you. Eh, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Okay. Um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Yvette María Elena. ¿Se desconectó María Elena? Ok. Nancy Yvette Tobar no Rivera. Grupo, ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Ya no entró al grupo. Sí, se desconectó, no ¿verdad? Tuvo problemas, sí. Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Present teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Tuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Present teacher. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, then everybody. Uh, we, our time is over. So, uh, Solo déjenme por favor recordarles que la asistencia es muy importante y acuérdense que tenemos que cumplir el 100% de asistencia. Por favor, no, no se me queden. Hagamos el esfuerzo de estar conectados en lo más que podamos. Y por favor, ingresemos a la plataforma, está realizando nuestras actividades. Eh, me hace falta dos calificaciones y necesito verificar, uh -huh. por favor, el que no haya hecho sus tareas eh, tiene que hacerlas, aunque sea en tardío, se le va a, a ingresar. Entonces, uh, por favor. It's okay, Ana. It's okay, Ana Delmi. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, Ana Delmi. I checked you in right now. Okay, it's 10, six minutes. Just give me one second because I need to see who is the one to stay in the session one, one to one.
le tocaba a Vladimir Antonio, pero él no se ha presentado. Entonces, ¿alguien quiere ese espacio? ¿Alguien quiere utilizar ese espacio para consulta? For assessment. Only one, please. I don't have enough for everyone. Oh, oh come on, come down, please. Hey, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Wait, please don't get mad, don't get angry. Only one. <laughs> okay, everybody's tired, I think. O todo está entendido. O van corriendo. Ay, ya no aguantamos a la teacher. <laughs> okay, nobody? One and two and time oh. is over. <laughs> okay, then let let us meet tomorrow, guys. Please on time at eight. Bye bye. Okay. Bye -bye. Good night. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Hello, Anna, do you have any question? Anna Delmi, are you there? Thank you.